Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a romance and drama movie from 2020 called My Best Friend's Bouquet. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Josie is meticulously preparing a wedding bouquet for her longtime friend Emma from their college days. Emma is set to marry Ted, her true love, and Josie aims for perfection with the bouquet. She carefully selects each flower, focusing on red roses, significant as they were the first flowers Ted presented to Emma. Adding a personal touch, she includes feathers and a snippet of silk from Emma's wedding gown. As the chief bridesmaid, she visits Emma's home to deliver the bouquet and oversee the wedding plans. There, she encounters Alex, a close male friend from college, helping Ted with tasks. Inside, she's pleased to find Athena and the whole group gathered. Emma is overjoyed with the bouquet, continuously admiring it. Josie playfully notes that the one who catches it will be next to Mary. Talk turns to the wedding seating arrangements, where Josie and Alex are planned to be seated apart to encourage socializing, as they are the remaining singles. Both resist the idea, and when asked about their dating life, neither has much to say due to their busy work schedules. Emma reflects on seeking signs of true love while Josie expresses her wish to find a soulmate like a romantic film, destined and unmistakable. Post-brunch, as everyone leaves, Josie returns inside for her forgotten sunglasses. Alone with Alex, Emma teases him about his apparent love for Josie. Surprised, Alex admits he has not shared his feelings for fear of jeopardizing their friendship. Encouraged by Emma, Alex reveals he's writing a letter to confess his feelings. On the wedding day, Emma looks radiant, and as Josie hands her the bouquet, she reminds her to aim for Athena, hinting at her imminent engagement after Athena finds a ring at her boyfriend Brian's place. At the reception, Alex, now the best man, nervously prepares to give his speech. He talks about Ted and Emma's perfect match, but can't help but steal glances at Josie. With plans to confess his love, Alex finishes his speech amid the festive dancing. Meanwhile, Josie encounters a charming guest, Wilfersith, whom she finds agreeable and well-mannered. They strike up a conversation, during which Josie learns of Will's impressive family background, captivating her interest. Alex watches from a distance, pondering over Will's potential as Josie's perfect match. The evening culminates with the bouquet toss, a highlight of the celebration. According to the myth, the person who catches the wedding bouquet will be the next to marry. Since Emma is deeply involved with her partner, all eyes are on her to catch it. However, the bouquet lands right in Josie's lap, leaving everyone, including Josie herself, stunned. While at her office, Josie reflects on the wedding incident, pondering the belief associated with catching the bouquet. Just then, Alex appears, mentioning he was nearby and invites her to lunch. Although pleased to see him, a call from her secretary about a significant partnership offer from Colossal Insurance interrupts them, and they agree to reschedule their lunch for Sunday. Alex seems somewhat disheartened by this change. In another moment, Athena excitedly reveals her engagement ring to Josie and recounts the proposal mishap at the duck pond, which, despite not liking the ring much, doesn't dampen her excitement for the wedding and honeymoon plans. Later, Will approaches Josie to commend her on a successful pitch and spontaneously asks her out, bypassing the usual exchange of phone numbers. Their date involves a stroll in the woods and ice cream, during which Josie shares her romantic inclinations and they whimsically throw pebbles into a nearby river, making wishes. The following day, Alex and Josie meet for a picnic in the park. Alex has been nurturing feelings for Josie and sees this as an opportunity to express them. However, before he can, Josie mentions that Will played a role in securing the insurance funding and how much she enjoyed their recent date. This revelation leaves Alex disheartened, but Josie, noticing his dismay, offers to help him set up a dating profile. When Alex visits Josie and Athena's apartment to set up his profile, Brian bursts in with news of securing a wedding venue thanks to his mother's financial generosity. As Josie prepares for another date with Will, she finds their sushi plans cancelled but is impressed by Will's quick thinking to arrange an indoor picnic instead. During a wedding dress shopping trip with Athena, Josie expresses to Emma and Athena that she believes Will might be the one. Their conversation is unexpectedly interrupted by the arrival of Brian's mother. Later, Josie calls Alex to discuss something crucial but learns he's unavailable due to a date, which he found through the dating site. At a winery meeting, Josie recounts recent mishaps related to Athena and Brian's engagement and wedding plans, voicing her superstitions about the events, especially since she caught the bouquet. Alex reassures her, sharing that his recent date went surprisingly well and they both enjoy a relaxed day at the winery. He shares that they've already had a second date. Josie thinks it's a bit soon, but Alex disagrees, pointing out that Josie and Will seem to be getting along similarly well. Josie mentions finding her perfect wedding dress, which surprises Alex as he thinks she's moving ahead too quickly. 
She contemplates bringing Will to this serene spot, knowing he'd appreciate it, but Alex feels unsettled about Josie being so involved with Will. Rather than disclosing his true feelings, Alex suggests he might bring his date, Marissa, here instead. This prompts Josie to propose a double date with herself and Will and Alex and Marissa. Alex is disheartened by this suggestion, struggling with his hidden feelings for Josie and his fear of rejection, which makes the idea of a double date seem like a looming disaster. Needing to clear his mind, Alex visits Emma and Ted. During his visit, he reveals he's applied for a job that would require an immediate move to Chicago if accepted. As Ted steps away, Emma, cleaning the dining table, learns from Alex about the double date plan and expresses surprise that he hasn't confessed his feelings to Josie. Despite his concerns about interfering in Josie's new relationship, Emma encourages him not to give up if his feelings are genuine. However, Alex feels conflicted considering Marissa's kindness and his potential relocation. At the upscale Shea restaurant, the double date unfolds. Josie and Will are already there when Alex and Marissa arrive. Marissa is amazed they got a reservation at such an exclusive place, and Josie credits Will's knack for making the impossible possible. During dinner, Alex talks about his passion for environmental development, while Josie reminisces about college days with her friends, causing discomfort for Will and Marissa, who sense a deep connection between Alex and Josie. After dinner, as they leave the restaurant, Josie sees a shooting star and makes a wish, keeping it secret when Alex inquires. The evening ends with Marissa expressing her feeling of a deeper bond between Alex and Josie, questioning if Alex is emotionally available, as she had hoped for more from their relationship. Returning from the date, Josie finds Emma distressed on the couch, crying over a fire that destroyed the ballroom intended for her wedding reception, which now needs months for rebuilding. Josie tries to comfort Emma, who sees the ruined venue as a bad omen hinted at by the wedding bouquet. Emma then inquires about Josie's relationship with Will, sensing something might be off. Josie admits that although everything seems perfect with Will, she has doubts about their compatibility. During a casual outing at the park, Will's distraction with his phone disrupts their conversation, but he reassures her by setting his phone aside. Meanwhile, Alex, facing a job offer in Chicago, sees an opening to express his feelings to Josie during a visit to a park project he's been working on. However, when Josie asks if he's bringing Marissa to an upcoming party, he reveals they've split because he couldn't envision a future with her. This leads Josie to question Alex about marriage intentions, and in a moment of vulnerability, Alex asks if she would accept a proposal from Will. Josie affirms she would, as Will meets all her criteria, leaving Alex heartbroken and resigned to move to Chicago, perhaps to move on from his unrequited love. At Athena's engagement party, Josie reflects on potential deep-rooted differences in family values between her and Will, realizing this might pose a significant issue in their relationship. On their way to Athena and Brian's engagement party, Will opens up about his workaholic nature, inherited from his father, who was often absent during his childhood, even missing his birth. Josie realizes that Will, like his father, prioritizes work over family, which clashes with her own values and what she seeks in a partner. She begins to sense their incompatibility on this fundamental level. Feeling a deeper connection with Alex, Josie is upset when she overhears Brian and Ted congratulating Alex on his new job in Chicago. Surprised as she had spent the past week with him and he hadn't mentioned moving, she feels betrayed. Alex tries to explain, but Josie, feeling hurt, isn't ready to listen and walks away. Emma then confronts Alex about not sharing his feelings for Josie or his job news, understanding his hesitancy due to Josie's relationship and his fear of seeing her with someone else. Meanwhile, Josie decides she can't see a future with Will and breaks up with him, explaining that her feelings were more about the romance of the wedding bouquet than true love. At the engagement party, things go awry when Brian's mother, Donna, has to console Athena after an awkward moment involving their engagement story about the ring falling into a duck pond. They decide to postpone the wedding by six months. Taking Emma's advice, Alex completes a heartfelt letter to Josie but hesitates at the mailbox and discards it. However, a bystander retrieves and mails the letter. Back at her office, a downcast Josie regrets not expressing her feelings to Alex until her secretary hands her the letter. Overwhelmed with joy after reading it, she rushes to Alex's farewell party, determined to express her love. At the party, Josie runs into Alex's open arms, a moment he has long awaited. She realizes he is the one she truly loves. Months later, as they prepare for their own wedding, Josie, dressed and admiring herself in the mirror, reflects on how everything fell into place. Emma presents her with a specially crafted bouquet, reminiscent of the one that predicted her destiny at Emma's wedding, reinforcing her belief in the meaningful tradition of the bouquet choosing its rightful catcher. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.